Hello everybody, this is Aqua Team and we are back with The Sims 4 Megahood. We have made it to Hinford on Bagley. From the natural beauty of Cordelia Falls to the clear brisk currents of the river Bagley, the mingling of earth and water makes Hinford on Bagley a lovely place to visit, but perhaps an even lovelier place to live. Villagers here connect with the history of the land while finding a friendship with the furry and feathery creatures that inhabit the woods. So what if the average neighbor is a little more gossipy? You couldn't ask for a better place to grow, tend, and nurture a little, a more natural life. Okay. We've got four families. Moody and McMillan. Uh, the New Start. The Watson family. And the Scott family. So we're going to start up here with Moody and McMillan. Celebration Center and Gnomes aren't. Neither of you are home. Well, you're going to go home. What are you doing at the at the Gnomes Arm at 5 in the morning? <sighs> go home, dude. Just go home. Go home. All right. All right. So this is Ian McMillan and Derek McMillan. Who's Moody then? Hmm. Anyway. Oh, did MC Command Center change one of your last names? Might have done it. You might have been a Moody, and they changed it to McMillan. Anyway, we're going to start with you. Derek McMillan. Derek wants to be a best-selling author. He doesn't have a job. He has level 6 gardening, level 5 gourmet cooking, level 9 cooking, level 6 writing, level 5 herbalism, level 2 vampire lore, level 5 pet training, and level 4 cross stitch. That's an interesting combination of skills. He only knows Ian. Never met anyone else. Doesn't know anyone. He is an elder. He has lived 220 days. He is neat, an animal enthusiast, a bookworm, and a muser. And he is not currently in any clubs. And I don't know what his backstory is. I didn't read their backstory. Um. Hold on. I'm doing things all out of order. All out of order. My bad. Where are you? Mm. All right. After working an office job for more years than he'd care to admit, Derek found a man willing to live the rustic dream of his youth, and the two moved to the family cottage and never left. When not um, fending off financial offers from developers who seek his home as a prime target, Ian and Derek balance their days between adventure and quiet, depending on who's in charge of the ag agenda. Despite, or perhaps because of, their difficulties, time has been most kind to these elderly lovebirds who live a contented retirement as the key members of Hinford on Bagley community. 
All right, so they, they lived in the city, then they decided to move back to the country. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right, so we read about Derek. Then we have Ian. Here's Ian McMillan. Ian wants to be friend of the world. Doesn't have a job. Dang. He has level 5 piano, level 5 comedy, level 4 acting, level 6 singing, level 3 dancing, level 2 mischief, level 2 fitness, level 2 cooking, level 2 handiness, level 2 guitar, level 8 charisma, and level 1 entrepreneur. He knows Agatha, Judith Ward, and Warren Nolan, who has apparently died on us. Alright. And he does not like Greta Laurent. Alright. He is outgoing, a foodie, a goofball, and gregarious. And he is in the Actors Guild. Oh, we ought to put Lou Howe in the Actors Guild, because he is an actor. I'm not sure why, but he is. We'll throw him in the Actors Guild, too. Um, alright, so they live... Oh, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Alright, they live in this little cottage. Two story. So we walk into the door and we have the stairs going up. Off to the left we have a little living area. A little living room with a fireplace. Around to the right we have kitchen and dining. Around the back we have an exit out to the backyard. And if we go further over to the right, we have a little workbench and a little bathroom downstairs. Then upstairs, we've got a little chest set, another bathroom, the main bedroom, another bathroom, computer room, a little single bedroom, Let's give you the left side. Let's give you the right side. And then upstairs, there's like a little attic sort of thing going on. And if we go around back, we have a little grill and everything. There is a chicken coop. There is a place to do some gardening. There is, there is a fountain. And that is about it. It's a nice little place. Now, Please tell me you're not going to clean. Oh, God. All right. So, you want to analyze a book, listen to Baroque music, and have a drink at a bar. And you want to practice a comedy routine and listen to Japanese folk music. Okay. You want to introduce yourself to 10 Sims. We could do that at a bar. We could not, however, start on your book writing at a bar unless we have a computer that carries with and we don't. We could get you one. How much money y'all got? 22,000. Let's get you a laptop. 
just a little laptop. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the pub. Let's go to the gnome's arm and bring your hubby. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are at the bar. Now you want to have a drink at a bar. So why don't you go order a drink, order your favorite drink. And you want to meet people. So give her a cheerful introduction. What are you wearing, dearest? What are you wearing? Oh. Stephanie Sparks. I can't... Is she leaving? Yeah, she's leaving. We're just introducing ourselves to all the people. All the people. Are there people upstairs? There's one person upstairs. The creature keeper? You're the creature keeper? What happened to the creature keeper? Huh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm not sure what happened to the keeper, creature keeper, but... I ain't sure. Um... Nobody else is coming by. I thought there'd be more people here. You could go upstairs and introduce yourself to the creature keeper. Mm -hmm. Alright, did you have your drink? You had your drink. Let's come here. Now, you're, you're not inspired. Let's do a little cloud gaze. Uh, cloud gaze. Let's do a little cloud gaze. Did you have a drink? I'm pretty sure you already had a drink. Mm. Are you coming down or what? Not you. Dude, I'm trying to introduce myself to you. Get over here. And what are you wearing? You're the most... Andre De Silva is the creature keeper. He is not dressed for being a creature keeper. Dude, get over here. Hey, Nancy. Stop and chat for a while. You can get up. Why don't you come in here and write, um, let's write a screenplay. Man, she is in a mood. 
Oh, voting is open. Oh, cool. Twilight Boulevard. Sounds great. Um, it's only 8 a.m., but I honestly thought there'd be more people here. Bye, Nancy. Hey, Stephanie. Cheerful introduction. Don't don't go anywhere, Stephanie. We need a cheerful introduction. That's five. Give her a cheerful introduction. Oh, are you waiting on her to come to you? She's running a business. You go to her. How rude. Bye. Watson has has come out of the works. Don't go anywhere, Watson. I'm trying to greet people. Come back. She ran off. I don't know where she's at. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom soon. Oh. Well, here. Come greet this woman. Go greet her, walk in there to her, and then we will get you, why did you? No, sweetie, you're supposed to be working on your book. Remember, you want to be a, an author? Okay, let's go upstairs and take an angry poop, apparently, is what we need to do. Mm. Oh, you're a stomping mad. How dare that young lady be so rude to you? You want to have a drink and some food? Let's come down and introduce ourselves to Sarah. Hey, Sarah. At least Sarah's here. Let's order food. Let's order some cottage pie. And let's order a drink, our favorite drink. Oh. Don't forget my drink. Did you forget my drink? I also want a drink. Just like fruity drinks, fizzy fruity drinks.
Who are you? Terrence Bryson, grocery deliverer. Alright. Well, at least he got into his correct attire now. He's a young adult. And we don't need him. How many people do you need to... N oh, you just need one more. Oh, hey! Alika! Stop by and talk to an old man! Mm -hmm. There we go. Meet someone new in three different locations. Well, we could technically do that. We're going to have to meet someone new here, though. We'll be on the lookout. How's your book coming? Oh, you've almost finished. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Someone new to meet. Cheerful introduction. Who is this? Alina Kim McNally. Why do you have two names? I don't usually do that. Oh, were you a Kim? Oh. Your father was a Kim. cheated on by someone he cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will he ever trust again? Embrace the change? Who just cheated? I probably missed it. Okay. You're jealous. Okay. You've been hurt by Ian who has apparently cheated with someone. Though I don't know. Awkward encounter. <sighs> Did she flirt with you and you accepted? That could have been a thing because she is flirty right now. And now he's embarrassed because he. Okay. Oh, now you're being all kind of jealous. Flirty spouse. Derek's spouse was flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind their back? Jealousy pangs. It's not always reasonable, but sometimes those jealous feelings come to just come to the surface. Oh, Ian. You have made Derek so jealous. We finished our first book. Do we want to start a second book? Well, you're kind of hungry. Let's get you something to eat. Let's get you some food. Um, order food. Get you some banger and mash. And then you can come and and meet. Um. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. You can come and meet Cecilia. Have 12 friends. Achieve level 6 charisma skill. Have 20 friends. Make a BFF. Achieve level 10 charisma skill. So you want a bunch of friends. How many friends do we have? Not that many, actually. One, two, three. We literally have three friends. Four friends. We're going to have to start. You finish your drink. Derek. Bye.
Sorry. Did you finish your drink? Maybe you could take a photo with Cecilia since she's sitting right there. And then maybe you can take a photo with Sarah. And then maybe we could take a photo with Opal. Is your partner yelling at you some more? No. Alright, you need to go upstairs and use the bathroom. Uh, and apparently he's not going to take any photos with anybody. She's got a lot of hair up in your face. Um, uh, sure. Now, did we become friends with all those people? We did. Well, not Sarah. Acquaintances with... You became friends with Opal, but only acquaintances with Sarah and Cecilia. Well, that's not necessarily good. What is Thomas Watson doing coming in here? Mm. Should we take another picture? Or should we head out? Maybe we should head out. Let's head out. Okay, we're here. Let's go visit... Let's go visit the Watson family so we can meet someone at a second location. Cheerful introduction. What are you upset about? Oh, Fullerty spouse. Heartbreak fueled fury. He's having a time. How could he? How could he be like that? You're supposed to be together forever. Just the two of you. Mm. Oh, she left. Alright, well let's go home then. Let's go home. We met somebody in the middle section. How far are they? Okay. And then I need him to meet somebody at the... 
at his house. All right, my dude, you are very upset. Where is your husband? Oh, he's upstairs playing chess. Why don't we get you to come down here? Okay, not you. You. Why don't we start another book? I know that we're we're feeling, we're we're in our feelings right now. We'll write another screenplay. We're in our feelings. We'll throw it all into our our creative. We will throw it all into the book. And where do again Twilight Boulevard two the sequel? Where do we live? Oh, we live near the park area and the river. Oh, okay. So we don't live that far from the river. We do need to meet one more person. Dude, go to the bathroom. And then we could... We could vote on a neighborhood action plan. But what, whatever should we vote on? Mm -mm. Mm. Back in the old days, I've never done this one. <laughs> With this initiative, those who live a wholesome lifestyle of reading books and playing board games will be rewarded with influence. And those who indulge in technology, drinking juice, and woohoo will be properly fined for their woeful deeds. That could be interesting. I wonder who else lives in this neighborhood. We live up in the top, right? No? Yeah? Yeah. Juice community gain influence by using practical juice fizzing and mixology skills to make concoctions for the entire neighborhood. Um, hmm. Green gardening. Bags over our heads. Free love. Rough housing encouraged. Sometimes we believe, believe there's such a thing as being too polite. We should band together and make the world better, one fight at a time. A world where we can speak our minds without any hurt feelings or bruised egos. You can get influence for mean interactions on other sims. You gain influence for romance interactions. Vote with your heart and we can transform our community into a butterfly of love for all. Whether single, married, or just open, we embrace loving each other in all of its beautiful forms. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anybody around that we can greet? No, we already know her. Know her already. We are in the second area. I thought we were in the third area. Because if we're in the second area, then we've already met someone in the second area. Because don't the Watsons live in the second area? Do the Watsons live here? Uh, let, let me think. No, we are in the th third area because this is up here is 
we are in the third area. We have to be in the third area. There's nobody else here except for this house. Is the house on the hill? No, this Okay, here, let's do this. I'll figure it out. Okay, we live here. We're in the third area. So we met someone here. So we need to meet someone up here. We live in the Bramblewood. Is this a rental? We need to get rid of the rental. All right. You're just gonna go play chess? All right, dude. You go play chess while your partner cools down. I think he's cooled down some. Six more hours of flirty spouse. Oh, not the cheerleading. Did we get anything going? Who are we going to be playing when we get to prank day? Oh, we'll probably be put. I don't want to deal with that. Let's get rid of that. Um. You're getting very tired. He's still going to be angry for five hours, but he's getting very tired. Oh. And you have made him so mad. How did you just get past that? Mm, I don't know. We have five of 12 friends. Have we maxed the charisma skill? No, but we have level eight charisma. So we need to work on our charisma and we need to make more friends. You're gonna take a little nap? All right, will you take a nap? Unga. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a heart attack if you don't watch it. He loves writing. Aww. write five more good books but you are tired so why don't you go upstairs and get a nap or whatever a nap or sleep whatever apparently the welcome wagon is not coming today it's not coming today and it's winter so it's not a good time to do gardening and Why don't we work on your charisma? Here, come brush your teeth. And we'll practice our speech a little. Since you got time on your hands. Yeah. Now, the thing I don't know what to do is do I just play this family until they both die and then the family goes away? Or do I do what I always do with like the oldie family? Do, do they adopt a child or... But if they adopt a child, I don't know how long they're gonna live. Well, I could... 
12 days. Yeah, they don't have long enough to raise a child. To be a teenager. Doesn't mean we couldn't adopt a child. Because MC Command Center would probably ship the child off to... Well, I don't know. Because we'd be in the household when it... I don't know. <laughs> You're energized. You were revitalized by a nap. You come use the bathroom. Clean with vigor. You want to write some more? You want to make something to eat? Do you have cooking? You have herbalism, gardening. You do have cooking. Uh, he's getting into a neat thing. Let's serve dinner. Some black and bass. Want to serve dinner with some black and bass? Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you've got any ideas on how to handle a family that we know is going to come to an end, whether or not to adopt or. Y'all let me know what you think. Because we can't just play until they both pass away, which their money would go to no one. We'd just evaporate. Their house would just become up for sale. You're getting tired again. It is 11 p.m. Maybe you should just go to sleep. Even though you are revitalized by a nap, maybe some sound sleep would be the best thing for you. Strong, independent Sam from feeling furious with someone nearby. It's not Derek. It's definitely the Sim who broke Derek's heart for no good reason. Okay, and how tired are you? You're not as tired. You're tired, but you're not as tired. Do one of y'all have... Um, no, I don't see either of y'all have a handiness skill. Oh, you have level two handiness skill. Mm, that's not enough. I was going to upgrade the bed, but we can't upgrade the bed with level two handiness skill. Okay. We'll use the bathroom. Have some dinner.
Now you're tired. Mm. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Go ahead and clean that up. And then you can come upstairs and go f get you some sleep. the bathroom take ourselves a nice bath you're feeling much better today not as angry that's good 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 you don't want your blood pressure shooting through the roof you don't want to die of a heart attack is what I'm saying here you want to be calm I know that's hard to do when you think you've been betrayed and maybe you were betrayed. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Talk over relationship fears with Ian. From fear of being cheated on. Do you, did that give you the fear of being cheated on? Oh. Derek needs to talk to his partner and soon. Otherwise, Derek's relationship will continue to have problems unless he finds a way to deal with it. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. We want to read something and listen to classical music. We need to talk over our relationship fears, though. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's come work on a book. We can't talk over our relationship issues right now. So let's come write another screenplay. It happened one lunch break. Sure. He truly enjoys writing. And he's in a well-decorated environment. So good, good. And Ian is still sleeping. No, oh, you're going to come down and chat while he's working? Are you sure that's a good idea? Mm. Oh, the welcome wagon right now? Derek put himself forward and opened a line of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating his worries will finally help overcome his fears. Alright, why don't you come and invite the neighbors in, which it seems to be neighbor rather than neighbors. But Opal is here, and we're already friends with Opal. Throw this berry? Mm. 
become disliked by Greta. You're already probably disliked by Greta. She likes the violin. Aww. Did not know he had a tattoo. Don't go upstairs. No. 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 Try again. What is that about? Uh, uh, just chat with Opal. Well, be what? Wait, wait, what? Okay, your partner has got reason to be... What? Uh, 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 okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Feeling insecure. You've You've got reason to feel insecure, my dude. You've got reasons to feel insecure. Your husband is upstairs trying for a baby with a woman. Um. And she is pregnant. Your husband is having a baby with another woman. <sighs> Let's make some lunch. Um, a Caesar salad. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Serve lunch. And don't question why this woman is walking around your house in a bra. I'm going to have to go give her a makeover since um, sh I'm, yeah. Oh my God. You have every reason to feel insecure. You have so many reasons to feel insecure. Oh, God. Talk over relationship fears with Ian. Um... Chat with Ian. Mm. Ah, Gorgon, 
Oh, oh, wow. I definitely saw that one. Ian is, um... Um... Okay. So his relationship has dipped. 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 Oh dear. Um... He wants to talk over his fears with his... Come talk over your relationship fears. Go ahead and use the bathroom. I just locked that computer. I just locked that computer. So excuse me while I say no. You are not going to be on my computer. your will. Okay. Somewhat going to continue. Ooh, yeah. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh. Oh, great. New family dynamic. Difficult. Some Sims just can't get along with each other. Can't get along. With each new conversation and interaction, they have a potential to turn unpleasant. It certainly looks that way between Derek and Ian. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often, can easily become bitter and with each other, and intentionally neglect social calls. Would you say that Derek and Ian have a difficult family dynamic? Right now, yes. Right now, I would say yes, they do. Oh my God, the romance festival is in town. Do you want to go to the romance festival? Uh. Do you not want to go to the romance festival? Hmm. 
Brig Yama. Uh, so, Baba Chibs. I mean, you could work on your romance. Um, you could not woohoo someone who's not your partner. Y you know. And you could make some friends. You do need to have 12 friends. Did we... Did we bring them both? To the... Yes. We're gonna go to the romance festival. We're gonna take Derek with us. This could be a mistake, but I thought this part was going to be very boring. Just two old dudes. I got to say, things have happened. I did not expect. All right. It is, um, of course, there's exceptions. Of course there are. Um, oh, it's Babs Lamore. Um, first, let's go and pour soccer tea together. Uh, did Ukulele already have her baby? Is this Ukulele? She has already had her baby. See, the townies, their pregnancies don't suspend. And so they're having babies, and it's going straight through. They're lasting three days, and the only thing they've got suspended is age, so it's really weird. But, um, you want to order food at a market stall and discuss fine cuisine and call someone on the phone. You want to order something from a market stall. Okay, so y'all want to order food. Y'all are not hungry. But, um, we came out here. So, sure. Let's order food. Um, some ramen. And we'll, oh no, you don't have to haggle. You can order food, some dango. Mm. Dude, I'm already here, but okay. Oh, I need to kiss someone. I wonder if my partner's gonna let me kiss them. Hmm, probably. Butterfingers. Jealous Fury. Presenting a cheater. Oh dear. Alright, well we need to kiss. So, let's see if we can go in for a kiss. Did that not count? Mm, maybe we have to be standing. Go here. Go here. Romance. Kiss. Uh. 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 Okay. He tried to kiss him and he pushed him away. And then he tried to kiss him and he pushed him away. Oh my goodness. What if we just try... 
Um. To sweet talk. Uh. No sweet talk. Um. Oh, kiss hands. Um, they keep acting flirty ish, but then every time I try to do something, we can't even do a compliment appearance, just a compliment appearance. I'm so confused by these two. A simple flirt. No. Alright. No flirt. Alright. Um. Well, you need to make some friends. So, let's greet some people. Let's greet Bernice Robles. Let's just get out of a relationship thing with your. Uh. Uh. No, we don't want a romance. We just want to make friends. Discuss favorite recipes. Get to know. Um, ask about day. Mm. Oh, right. He's f got... Um, Take a photo with Bernice, maybe. Um, Did you make a friend? Oh, I'm on the wrong Sam. Yeah, I think that's a new friend. Now, what about... Um, well, we could do Alika. We know him. That's still not a friend. Oh, is a friend. <gasps> we didn't lose. How did we get a new friend and we still have six friends? We should have seven friends. Take a photo with Kaori. Kaori is very tense. Mm. Mm. 
that definitely did not give us a friendship. Let's try again. Mm. Mm. Still not a friend. Okay. Brighten her day. Ask about day. Hey, Bella. Cheerful introduction. Um, deep conversation. Compliment outfit. Flatter. Heartfelt compliment. Now we're friends. All right. Take a photo with Bella. Take a photo with Mortimer. What are you up to? You're just standing here being sad. You're just standing here being jealous. I'm going to reset you. Alright. Why don't you go use the bathroom? Nobody at the bar. Oh, someone broke this toilet. That's not good. And there's a ghost here. Oh, did it not happen? Oh, wrong sim. I wanted us to take a photo with Mortimer and take a photo with Bella. Try to get some more friends. That didn't get us. Not with Bella. Did with Mortimer. I don't really want to interact with the ghost. Let's take one more with you. Did I fall out with the ghost? Is that where I lost the friend? No. We're still friends with the ghost. That's ten friends. Who can I get to know? Let's give this guy a cheerful introduction. No? No no cheerful introduction? Where are you at? Oh, you are right here. Mm. 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 
take a photo with Ian. Maybe. Take a photo with Dominic. Take a photo with May. Take a photo with Babs. I don't know if he's going to do any of those things. Oh, you're cleaning. You fixed the toilet, huh? You're going to get you a drink? It's been that kind of night? Wow, at the piercings all over the place. To a friends, we really got to pay. Mm. We did not make friends with her. Not a head in the way or anything. Who did we not get friends with? Babs is just an acquaintance. So we need to do another. F we can do that real quick. I know you gotta pee. But take another photo with Babs. And then you can run into the bathroom. <laughs> we got 14 friends. I thought I was going to make a BFF with his partner, though, and I don't know that that's going to happen. Oh, oh no. Let's head home. All right, oh, we can make some more people. Um, we can make Melee. Mm. Okay, did we make friends with... Okay, we just know them. Okay, so we need to... Take a photo with Melee. Take a photo with... Baez. And take a photo with... Ava. That's what we need to do. Oh, his relationship with his husband is so bad. <laughs> Furious and ch about cheating. Derek cannot believe Ian would do this to their relationship. Just the sight of Ian will remind Derek that Ian betrayed his trust and cheated on him. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea how much he cheated on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we lost somebody. Mm -hmm. I 
don't think we got a friend out of that one. Oh, we did. All right. friends with him. Okay. Hey, Ava. Mm. We have 17 friends. We know so many people. If there was inheritance in The Sims 4, there'd be a lot of people getting inheritance. Cheerful introduction. friends. I'm running out of people to befriend. Oh, there's some more people in here. Noah, Luke, Mateo. Let's go give Mateo a cheerful introduction. Mateo and Marcel. We can befriend them. Oh, Mateo's leaving. Don't leave. Mm. Chelsea. Did you not go home? Did you seriously not go home? Can you not go home? Go here. Go home. There we go. Oh, are we best friends? We're good friends. We're good friends with him. Maybe we BFF with, I don't know. Maybe we say pleasant. Mm. Mm. Bartender it is. Sorry, dude, you get no drinks. I gotta befriend the barkeep. Probably will take Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good picture. Good picture. Work it. Mm, that did not get us up high enough. Work it, girl. Work it. There we go. We have 20 friends. All we need is a BFF and level 10 charisma. It's time for us to head home. It's 3.30 in the morning, Ian. Your spouse left angrily. 
angrily. You're going to have to make it up to him. Oh, God, we're going to have to make it up to him. I'm not sure how you're going to... I don't know. Because you did try for baby with someone else today. So I'm not sure how you can make that up. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how you make up for that. All right, hun, why don't you come up and go to sleep? Just go on to sleep. And you, oh, you also need to go to sleep. You came home and didn't go to sleep, huh? So I guess we're gonna end this part right here. Oh, with a marriage that is um, not exactly on solid ground. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Goodbye for now.